Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, okay. I want to apologize for the last two weeks of being so inactive and I know I said I was going to make that video with the victims and everything, but um, it was the holidays obviously and um, I just began to get extremely overwhelmed with everything going on and um, I'm always the one to say, no, I don't need a break, I don't need a break, I don't need a break, it's fine. I could talk about Nathan Larson every single day of my life and be fine. All my life I pretty much have this tendency to take on way too much and then be so surprised when like I get extremely burnt out and I just definitely needed to step away from everything from discord from twitter from instagram and just like unplug myself from this like online realm of like whatever because like let's face it the internet is honestly like not even a good place and it's very draining and throughout this entire journey of investigating Mr. Larson I've realized that there's such evil in this world that I've never really seen with my own eyes before. And it just all hit me at once. And like I said, uh, his arrest and the circumstances really did truly like upset me. So I just needed to take a break, you know. Um, and also I've been meaning to make this video for the last couple of days, but I'm currently doing an internship, which is extremely important for my career. I have a three-year-old. I'm trying to balance and maintain everything as well as taking care of myself, which I usually put at the very last. But this video isn't about me. It's about Nathan Larson and more specifically one other person in Nathan's life that I think really needs to be held accountable. And um, let's get right into it. I haven't heard many updates about the entire case, probably because at the trial on Christmas Eve, it's like that pre-trial crap and like nobody really like they're, they're, they're not doing anything. They're not sentencing him to jail or anything yet. And I know that. However, there was one very big, large piece of information that did come out that I would like to address in this video. Nathan Larson obviously deserves to rot in prison. However, there is another person in his life that deserves to go to jail as well. And that is his mother. Good old Dottie Larson. I've mentioned this before in my videos, but I, I would really like everybody to solely pay attention to the fact that Nathan Larson's mother not only paid to host the website, but now she paid to she paid for plane tickets for her son to go kidnap a child in which he was going to bring home t with him to her house. And you're telling me somehow this woman still isn't arrested because that just seems like extremely bizarre to me. This entire case seems bizarre to me because the more and more reporters I talk to, I've talked to people at Fox, one woman informed me she said you know you probably don't do this all the time which i don't i'm not just a pedophile hunter she said that if i called the authorities and i told them that there was child pornography on this website the local authorities could have done something and it's so funny because when i called they told me there was absolutely nothing they could do they're calling the fbi and the fbi will reach out to me never happened so um it's just this entire case just boggles my mind because something is not right about this someone is keeping these people out of trouble and I really want to know who. And I know that I keep putting myself out there and I keep talking about this and I keep pressing it because this isn't just a news article, this isn't just a video, this is not about the views. I don't make money off of this. I don't I don't I, this isn't my career. I'm becoming a nurse. Like I it has nothing to do with like my career. This is solely because something is so wrong and I don't see many people harping on this issue as much as I have aside from like the amazing people that I've worked with like throughout this journey I have not seen people with power that actually can do something do something I've seen people cover it because it's a good news story real quick but I've yet to see people like press the issue of like how is this man now arrested and only now arrested and how is his mother not arrested for funding his kidnapping fiasco basically the affidavit said that Nathan Larson's mother had provided a credit card for Larson to buy the plane ticket for himself and the girl. Larson's mother has not been charged with a crime. Mr. Larson was planning to return to his residence with the 12 year old girl. So why is she not arrested? I understand that she works in the courts. I guess people who work in that field when dealing with like legal things and like the courts, maybe they get some like leeway, but like who gave your son money so he could go kidnap somebody? He would not have been able to go get on a plane because he's broke 
unless you gave him that money. So why is she sitting freely in her house right now? Just like when he got swatted, they apparently found child pornography on the computer and it was under her username, not his, or like a random username. And they were just like, oh, you know, we don't know. So they left it. Nathan Larson's mother is the one that actually pays for the website. So why is she not being charged of anything? Why does she get to walk free? And all these questions genuinely bother me. And I think that's why everything is just catching up to me at once because it's like, I'm gonna be so honest, a lot of people on this platform, especially YouTube, and a lot of internet creators and, and, and whatever, a lot of them don't care. A lot of them literally don't care. There's been like maybe one or two people that I've met um, through YouTube that actually like are genuine people. Everyone else wants a quick story for some quick money for some quick views, or they want, they literally just want like the publicity. They think, oh, this will get people to watch. I think anyone who follows me and has been following this case really knows that like, again, this is not my career. This is not, whatever. If I'm able to literally make one positive influence on one person, then I'm happy. If I could do it to 12,000 people, then I'm very, very happy. But like, I don't need money and I don't need anybody to watch my videos for anything other than to show like, what is going on? Like, why, why is this guy just not in jail? Why is the website left up so long? How is the website still back up? I know obviously it's not Nathan because he's in jail, but wouldn't you be monitoring that domain because you know, like, obviously that was his and his followers are going to, like, try to start it up again. Wouldn't the FBI just immediately take it down? I want to know why pedophilia is protected. I want to know why it's protected on TikTok. I want to know why it's protected on YouTube. I want to know why Nathan Larson's mother is not in jail. I seriously want to know why pedophilia is, like, low-key, like, not even, like, a big deal. Being involved in this case and then seeing so many other things that I literally cannot unsee, cannot unknow, pedophilia is one of the biggest issues that we have and nobody is really talking about it. We'll talk about it if someone gets abducted because obviously we have to and that's a good story, but we won't talk about the fact that the website is back up and shouldn't the FBI be closely monitoring everything that has to do with that website and that man? It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna be one of those people that like we're about to expose something crazy and get killed because I think that people that talk out about these things and people that like speak about these things, like they seriously face like they go missing or they kill themselves. Like, and for the record, like I'm not, I'm not suicidal just so everybody knows. I just, it's been like in my head and I've been trying to relax and like take a break from it, but it just still the thought pops into my head at least like three times a day is why is it so normalized look at the movie cuties look at the instagrams filled with actual like child pornography and you report it and nothing even happens why are these people protected and what what is going on the most important thing to me in this entire world is my child and i genuinely like feel for children and children are supposed to be protected because they cannot protect themselves but for some reason the people that are harming them are always protected and I'm just like really genuinely confused. I just wanted to make this video and, and go off on this rant because like I said, I'm just really tired of it. I'm tired of child predators and pedophiles being protected by like every single, by like everybody, by Twitter, by Instagram, by Netflix, by everybody. And I just feel like there's something and I don't mean to sound like a conspiracy theorist because I, at the end of the day, it's not. I've seen it with my own eyes. like. They could have arrested Nathan, why didn't they? They can go do something about Nathan's mother, but they don't. The movie Cuties that should have never been made and anybody who protects it is creepy because that movie was like weird and disturbing. On Facebook, before I did this whole thing about rapey, I shared that there was like actual child pornography shared on Facebook, like a child being raped on Facebook. Why? 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 Like, like literally, why? If you have fact checkers, on Facebook, you don't have something that flags child pornography. Like it just doesn't make sense. And I'm just genuinely concerned. And I wanna get to the bottom of why this is becoming so normalized. And it's honestly scary. It's scary to live in a world where you know how much these evil people could honestly get away with. So I pretty much just wanted to say that Nathan Larson's mother needs to go to jail. Pedophilia is like the biggest problem on this planet and I'm still waiting for updates about the whole case with Nathan. I plan on the next week doing this video with the victims and stuff. I've just been trying to sort out how I'm going to do it and what's the best way to do that because a lot of these girls want to stay anonymous but it's just there's a lot 
going on with that and I need to figure it out before I do it. But their stories definitely deserve to be told and I am going to be their voice. And I may have made this platform, but it definitely belongs to them and I'm definitely going to work on that. But I just, again, internship, baby, Christmas, literally all over the place. So I apologize again and I'm working on that and I'm definitely going to get it out. I apologize again for my inactivity, but I just really needed to step away from my own mental health because this is extremely hard. And it's extremely hard to fight for something and for to try to spread awareness about something that just seems like it doesn't matter. Like there are there are people way higher up than me that are trying to almost silence me and like sweep this under the rug and it's just very frustrating and it's very upsetting and it really, 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 really hurt me that a child was kidnapped like as I was screaming like this man needs to go to jail, you know? And I'm sick of people covering it and then never speaking about it again. I'm sick of people using it as like a story or a clickbait or something to watch. Like this is seriously really an issue. It's not that I want views. It's just, I wanna know why pedophilia is literally just like, eh, like, oh, that's fine. I want to know why being a child predator is okay. And that's pretty much it. So remember to take care of yourselves and I will see you guys next time.